So you're looking to purchase a grow tent? Well, thanks for coming to Debaco University to get some information in a buyer's guide looking at grow tents so you can find the one that's the best fit for your situation. All right, let's compare some grow tents. You can get an idea which one will fit your situation the best. So first off, there's many grow tents out there, and for the comparison, decided here to compare all grow tents of the four foot by two foot size. Good entry level, fits in a lot of areas, so this is just the one I've chosen to keep the size the same for all the tents we're gonna investigate here on this buyer's guide. So let's start here with the convert, the two foot by four foot grow tent, you can see right here. Key features, it does have a metal frame with reinforced corner connections. The advantages to this tent is it has many access ports with center viewing windows, we can clearly see right here. However, the downfall is that it does have one large door flap that can be awkward compared to the traditional centerline zippers to try to access your plants, which you'll have to be doing hopefully on a daily basis. Then there's the Sun Hut Big and Easy that we can see indicated right here. Key feature is a large access door in the back of the tent, which in addition to that large center zipper we see here. The pros are that it's a full four by two uh, feet of growing space. The downfall is it's slightly larger outside measurements can make going through doorways a little bit more challenging. So it does true give you a a two foot by four foot growing area. So keep that in mind when looking at dimensions. Measure your doorway, measure your closet, and have an idea not just what the growing space is, what the full outer dimensions are to make sure it will fit in your area. Then we get to some of the more common uh, brand names, brand name, if you will, the Gorilla Grow Tent. This is the light line, and this has an optional height extension for an additional cost, but that is kind of a key feature to this line. It does have a full metal frame and connections, which are always great to see. Medium canvas density compared to others in the Gorilla Tent lineup. So it's kind of like your entry level um, type of material there, but still the Gorilla Tent name brand. Then we get to the uh, tent, the, sh the shorty, and this uh, designed for areas with limited headspace where you don't where you have a kind of a short ceiling. Full metal framing connections, again, traditional of our of the gorilla tents we see here, and that's great. Uh, the cons, though, are the middle of the pack in the gorilla lineup. It's kind of like not the entry level. It's also not their uh, more expensive model. It's kind of that mid-level. So you're kind of getting not quite as good as the top of the line, but a little bit approved the lower line. It's kind of caught in that middle there. Uh, that upper end one, that kind of that top of the line, they say, of the Gorilla Tent uh, would be the heavy duty one. And that's considered to be the kind of highest strength and durability of the Gorilla line. It does have that full metal frame of connections as we've seen throughout. However, this is the most expensive option. So this is something that you're really looking at. Can you justify some of the options that it provides? Justify that additional cost? Uh, does it offer advantages to you of the strength and durability compared to that light line we saw very first? Again, if you're just going to put a grow tent in an area and just kind of take plants in and out, not a lot of um, transitions back and forth, not going to have a lot of wear on the material, um, that light line may be sufficient or at least offer a good entry level there for you. So hopefully this kind of offered you some examples of some grow tents you may have been looking at, may not have considered, so you can make an educated decision in your purchase.